I'm gonna show you how to build a very capable beginner woodworking shop with the necessary tools for under $1,000. And we're gonna use Amazon because we can usually get better prices there most of the time. Now I'm gonna show you the order I think you should purchase these in. Not that you have to buy the full $1,000 set at one time, but if you do have the budget, you can do so and be up and running as soon as they all arrive at your doorstep. Let's go. First and foremost, you have to have a tape measure if you're gonna be a woodworker. It's just the way it is, it's, it's the law. <laughs> so just pick up a good tape measure. My personal favorite, the one I use in my shop is made by FastCap. There is one, a lefty righty version that's only $7.99. This is a really good deal, especially for beginners because it has the numbers on both sides no matter which way you turn the tape, which is very handy. That way you don't have to look at things upside down. And if you're unfamiliar with how to read a tape measure, it does have those broke down for you. So you're not gonna get confused of what's an eighth, a three eighths and so on. My personal favorite is the Fast Cap Old Standby. It's just a regular looking tape measure. They're very durable. They even have a pencil sharpener built in, both of these. It is a little more expensive at $11.99 and we're trying to get the maximum amount out for our money. So $7.99 for the lefty righty. You'll be just fine and you'll like the tape. <laughs> The next thing you should buy is a square. I recommend the Swanson Speed Square because they're only about $10, give or take, and they can do multiple functions for the wood shop. You're gonna be able to lay out angles like 10 degrees, 30 degrees, 45s, 90s, and they're just well made. This will last you a lifetime, as long as you don't run over it or something. I also think it's a good idea to pick up a framing square so that you can lay out sheet goods or larger items or check the square of cabinets and things like that where you just need more surface area to be able to square this up. And this is only at about $16. So it's just, you should have one in the shop. You'll notice that these framing squares come in different colors. I like these black ones with the high contrast writing because I'm old and I need to see them better. Next up, power tools. <laughs> ah! I chose the DeWalt 20 volt atomic line because they're brushless and they're not overly big. These are a staple in the wood shop. Probably be the most used tool you'll ever buy is your drill and impact driver. That's why I think it's best to go ahead and spend a little bit of extra money. You don't have to go overboard and get the top of the line, but this is a good middle ground that will last you for years and years and my choice for what you should buy because uh, you can find these on sale quite often. And the battery platform, they have a lot of tools in this platform so you wanna expand later on. Now the time I'm filming this, these are $209 for this set. You get two batteries, a charger, plus the drill and the impact. This is a really good price for these. They do go a little lower than this, so if you'll keep an eye on that or sign up for my tool alerts, link in the description, you'll be able to catch a good deal on something like this. The good thing about this set is it's kind of the middle of the road. It's not the base model. It's also not the most expensive. Again, you get a good quality drill with two speeds. You get a nice torque adjustment so you don't overdrive screws. It's just a good all around tool and it's brushless. There is a cheaper model of DeWalt's that are brushed tools. And what that means is you're gonna get better battery life and better power out of a brushless line, which is what you're looking for in cordless tools. You want that good battery life and more power. But feel free to shop around and get a cordless set that you're comfortable with. Just remember, going forward, you're going to want to pick a brand that has multiple tools that you're going to be using, routers, saws, things like that. But these are a good solid starting set, and you can use these for years to come. And they're really durable. Next up is the circular saw. This is about $50. It's at $49 even right now. This is the number one selling circular saw on Amazon. It has well over 13,000, almost 14,000 reviews. So it's, it's well paced. People have put this thing through the paces. This is a good option because it's a full size circular saw at a seven and a quarter. So it's gonna be easy to find replacement blades. And that's a good thing because the blades that come on these saws, on even the saw stop $4,000 table saw was trash. So this is common practice. Go ahead and pick up like a Diablo blade. They're not expensive, seven, eight dollars. It's gonna be much, much better and you'll be much happier. You get a straighter cut, a cleaner cut, and it's just gonna perform much better. A few great features about this saw is it's a 15 amp saw, which you're gonna get plenty of power to power through two by fours, two by sixes, two by eights, whatever you feel the need to power through. It also has a laser on there. Laser. Laser. Which I really like because and I can see this laser, I'm red green colorblind, but I can actually see this one. That's gonna give you an indicator showing you where the blade is going to be cutting. And that is super handy to have, especially on a saw in this price point. Another few things I like about this saw is the fact that the base is metal or aluminum. It's not plastic. A lot of cheap, cheap saws are plastic and they're flimsy. This is not. 
This will also let you bevel up to 52 degrees. Why they chose 52, I don't know, but there it is, 52. You got a 45, which is what most of us are gonna be miter cutting at. This is just a good all around circular saw. You're just gonna need to upgrade the blade, which would be typical on any circular saw. If you don't like the laser, it can be turned off. Simple button press on top turns that on or off. So there you go. <laughs> All right, if you got a way to cut the wood and you got a way to put the wood together with your drill and driver, you got to have a way to sand the wood. And my pick is the DeWalt sander. This is a variable speed sander. There is a cheaper option for you if you just don't like DeWalt or don't want a variable speed router. Comes in handy sometimes, but not always. This DeWalt is $84. It was one of my top picks when I tested several sanders under $100. So I had a whole video test on that. This come out one of the top ones. The other one that come out on top was a Craftsman sander, which will save you about $20, but you're losing the variable speed. Whether that matters to you or not, you decide, but they're exactly the same sander. Identical, minus the variable speed. They come out of the same factory in Mexico. They look identical, they performed identical. It's just, they're the same sander, just in a different color and minus the variable speed. So if you wanna save $20 here, go with that. My recommendation is still the DeWalt, just based on that variable speed. Next up, you gotta have a way to hold the wood together while the glue dries or while you're assembling things. And I think pipe clamps are probably the most underrated value that you can get in clamps, especially these. These are three quarter inch Bessie pipe clamps. You buy the clamps and then you buy the pipe separately. The clamps are normally about $25 each, which is a good deal. I know it sounds like a lot, but it really is a good value because of what you're getting. Now you can get pipe in whatever length you want. If you wanna make this a five foot piece of pipe, you can do that. Typically three, four feet is all you're gonna need. They come in four packs. You can buy this pipe just like this, already cut in 36 inch lengths for about $48. Now, here's a pro tip for you. If you go to your local home store, you could probably get this pipe a little bit cheaper locally and have them cut to whatever length you're most commonly gonna use. I found for cutting boards and small projects, this 36 inch is just right. So I recommend getting four of these clamps and then four pieces of pipe just to get you started. That's gonna be about $150, so it's not a bad deal for what you're getting because most parallel clamps are $50 each, so you're saving about 50 bucks. -ish. I think everyone needs a set of quick clamps. You can get a set of four of these six inch clamps for about $20. These are great just to give yourself a helping hand. If you're working by yourself in the shop or if you just need to hold something in place while you attach it, these are just very, very useful to have in the shop. 20 bucks, come on. Next on the list, I think every beginner woodworker needs a trim router because you'll be able to do edge profiles like roundovers. In other words, rounding the edge of that product off, whether that be a cutting board, a tabletop or chamfers or many other uses a router can bring to your shop. You can get one of these for about $80, a corded version, or if you wanna pick up your cordless line, that's okay too, they're just gonna be much more expensive. But stay on budget, this Makita or even a Bosch trim router, this one horsepower style, are excellent, excellent choices to keep you under that $1,000 budget. This is a good option and one of my favorites. Next up is a table saw. It is one of the most used tools in any woodworking shop. This one is $299. It is a compact job site table saw, but it is one of the better table saws that I've reviewed on this channel. If you don't want a smaller saw, because this does have the eight and a quarter inch blade, which means you're not gonna get a really big depth of cut, two by fours, two by sixes is fine. When you get into the like four by fours, you can't really cut those all the way through. If you want that level or depth of cut, check out the skill table saw. I reviewed it on the channel. I think it's the best beginner table saw. It is also $299 or should be around about that price most of the time. These are two of the better table saws that you're gonna find. Now, the reason I didn't include a miter saw in this list, although I think a miter saw is a nice to have tool, a must have tool. If you're beginning woodwork or making smaller projects, you can break down your goods with the circular saw, bring them to the table saw and get them more accurate. Now, if you have the budget for a miter saw, absolutely get a miter saw. It's one of the tools I think you should pick up after this $1,000. But for starting out, I think a table saw, you'll be much happier longer versus having a miter saw in the shop. And that does depend on what you're making, but I'm going most people here. No matter what table saw you buy, it is essential that it has a very nice fence that can remain square to the blade, square to the miter slot. That's all that matters on a table saw. 
other than the power. But for the most part, that fence is the most critical part of that saw. This saw, as well as the skill one I reviewed, have that rack and pinion fence. Not gonna have to worry about that coming out of square. You're gonna get really nice, accurate cuts. These are very nice saws for this price point. Gonna be hard to beat that. When you go to the cheaper saws, the fences kind of rack and move and it's just annoying and your cuts are gonna be off. You're just gonna wanna go throw something or kick something or throw the saw itself. One reason I chose table saws versus a miter saw for this budget thousand dollars is because you can build your own jigs for this table saw or many other table saws table saw sleds jointing and tapering sleds that was going to help you do a whole bunch of stuff with a single tool versus the miter saw which basically cuts 90 or at some angle this is going to let you cut angles gonna let you build all sorts of things like tapered legs you can joint the edges of boards with this table saw you can build tenony jigs you can it, the list goes on and on. Like we could stand here forever talking about all the jigs you could build for a table saw to make your product or production faster, easier, and even better. So table saw gets the win. We should have about $80 left, give or take a few dollars, depending on if you were able to save some money on some of the other products. You need a shop vac and you can get a shop vac for under $100 and that's gonna get us right to that $1,000 mark and I'll drop a link to some of my favorites in the description. But you want a shop bag that has a HEPA filter, that's the main thing you're gonna be looking for because you're gonna need a way to collect all of this dust up and get one with a bag if you can that's gonna save that filter. As you progress, I highly recommend picking up a dust extractor, but those things are almost $1,000 by themselves and it's unrealistic for a beginner to try to get one of those in most cases. So shop bag, HEPA filter, bag, you're gonna need one. Unless you live in an open space and you can just leaf blower or sweep it out of your way. Here's a bonus pick. If you have the budget or you've already purchased all these tools, get a miter saw. A couple of my favorites are the DWS-779. Usually it goes on sale pretty regularly, but this is a really nice saw I've used for a very long time here in the shop. It is by far one of my favorite miter saws I've used. If you're on a more of a budget, there is a wind model I reviewed. It's a 10 inch saw. It's a really good model for the price. You can save quite a bit of money there, but I think long-term to be happy, the DeWalt's probably gonna be my best pick. If you have an even bigger budget, you can check out something like the Makita or even the Festival. Now keep in mind, prices change and fluctuate on Amazon like the wind blows. So just keep that in mind as you look at the prices of something, it may go up, it may go down. It's always good to check the current price. What tool did I miss? I, got, I had to miss one that should have been in this thousand dollar list. Let me know in the comments. If you want to check out any of the tools and supplies you saw today, they're linked in the description and the pinned comments so you can find them easier. You got to check out the first five power tools every woodworker should buy right there. Click at that box, click at the box, get you the big old virtual fist pump or my top 10 Amazon tools I've ever bought right there.